A 23 year old Toledoan has been arrested after stealing a vehicle and leading police on a high speed chase. And this chase actually resulted in the crash of an innocent driver who then had to lose her arm. Our Trent Crosi spoke with her earlier today at Mercy St. Vincent's where she is recovering still. So Trent, how's she doing tonight? Well, Tatiana, 33 year old Lacey Frederick says she's grateful to be alive. She thanks the members of Toledo Police and Fire for performing life saving efforts last week, allowing her to be here today. And while she will continue to live her life without her left arm, she says she still has what's most important, her life and those around her. I remember everything I, I get occasional nightmares from it i i felt and i saw my vehicle roll on my arm and i rolled from according to my understandings four to five times and uh, i i thankfully i landed now just five days later lacey frederick sits down to share her traumatizing experience which she says has changed her life forever. Frederick was hit out of nowhere by this man, Aquavian's Moore, who was running from the cops after a grand theft auto, blowing straight through an intersection, T-boning Frederick's car off the road. And I, I was just trapped there, and I, I just remember screaming, my arm, my arm, and I, the officers that ran up to me are telling me not to look at it, not to look at it. But Frederick could not look away, she says it was all she could think about, no matter how horrifying her injuries were. She says this man had no concern for her or her life, and even tried to run after the crash, but didn't stand a chance against the authorities. Once I found out that he was Shakir, I just, I went back to staring at my arm. They transported her to Mercy St. Vincent's, and within minutes, they took her to surgery. She says after waking up, she found out her left hand was gone. They were able to take the breathing tube out of me, and that's when it all came to realization that they weren't able to save my arm. It was a decision her mother, Linda, never thought she would have to make after doctors tried everything to save it. She kept saying, my arm, mom, my arm, mom, they're going to take my arm. And I said, that's okay. It's only an arm. It's replaceable, but we can't replace you. And Frederick has a long road ahead, but she's grateful to have no internal bleeding, any other major injuries, and to be right-handed. She credits her mom and the staff at Mercy for being a helping hand despite losing her own. I am a very positive, happy-go-lucky person, and I refuse to let that monster take that away from me. And Frederick will be at St. V's for the time being and hopes to get a prosthetic down the line. To help with medical costs and her recovery, Lacey's family has started a GoFundMe, which is located on our website, WTOL.com, under links mentioned. Reporting in studio tonight, Trent Croce, WTOL 11.